Well, the Splatfest world premiere is over. Time for my thoughts. Think of it like a Splatfest review. First, Splatsville is incredible. It's enormous, and the amount of detail is astounding. The NPC animations, the side alley, the coffee shop inside the lobby, it feels alive in a way that Inkopolis never has. Second, the lobby and the testing range are one and the same! No more looking at a screen full of names! Now, let's move to multiplayer stuff. The specials are great. Go watch Prochara. After trying out the Splatana Wiper, I can now say that it's a lot like the brush. It swings as fast as the Octobrush, does 30 damage at long range, and 45 damage at short range. Charged slashes do 60 damage at long range, and 120 damage at short range. That gives it 4 shot, 3 shot, 2 shot, and 1 shot options. The Splatana Stamper wasn't in the demo, but some Nintendo Treehouse footage shows that the Stamper and the Wiper has the same relationship as the Octobrush and the Inkbrush. Both brushes and Splatanas need to get up close to be useful, but brushes have better mobility and escape options, while Splatanas have ranged options and a one-shot, allowing for a different playstyle. I think this is Nintendo's answer to brush mains wanting new types of brushes. Anyways, onto the Tri-Stringer. Nintendo could have called it the Splat Bow, but no. The Tri-Stringer is probably the most complex weapon yet. Tap shots do minuscule damage, and fully charged shots do 35 damage. After completing the first charge ring, your shots will become explosive projectiles. The further you charge the second ring, the closer together your shots will be. If you hit every shot, that's a 105 damage kill. Now, that's all great, but the Tri-Stringer suffers from one big problem. Its paint is atrocious. Even tap shots are not a viable option. That would be fine if it was a killing machine, but it's not. Playing at a distance provides nothing but unhelpful chip damage, and close combat means instant death. There are so many long and mid-range weapons that can do close combat better, so even if you created a comp to help the Tri-Stringer, there will always be a better and easier option. Until they buff its paint, Tri-Stringer will be a low-tier weapon. On a happier note, the new movement options are cool. The Squid's Surge is pretty situational, and only really useful on maps with high walls. But it's cool, the Squid Roll is also situational, as you can't roll forwards, and you need some momentum to do it but I think we'll get better at finding the right times to use it. Overall, I think these are great additions to the series. And finally, Tricolor Turf War. It's fun. It's chaotic. It's exhilarating. Except for the part where the defending team loses every time. The main gimmick with this mode is the Ultra Signal. The defending team has to, well, defend it, and the two attacking teams have to claim it. If a team claims it, it summons the Sprinkler of Doom which is just a giant sprinkler that can't be destroyed and stays there for the rest of the battle. That's cool and all because it lets that team claim that turf. Except that there are two of them. No matter which team gets the second one, it just means that the defenders won't win. If a different team gets the second one, one of the attacking teams will always have more turf. And if the same team gets the second one, they put the sprinkler in mid, which blocks off the defending team from their high ground leaving them no place to go but spawn, which is low ground! The other two teams have no chance of winning after that, and are condemned to watch as they suffer crushing defeat. Can you tell that I was on Team Scissors? Also, having two Ultra Signals is kind of anticlimactic. And why is Sturgeon Shipyard the only playable map? Nintendo, you have two weeks to fix this all. Go, go, go! I'm clicking this very fast now. I'm not about to be losing this. I'm not about to be losing this 100x battle. No! There, guys. There, there, there. No, nobody's there! Why are we all. Face! We better win this. If we don't, oh, I'm gonna be so sad. I think we take it. Oh. <gasps> Let's go! Yeah! We won us in a 100x battle! Let's go! Yes, sir! That is a sweet emote! Oh my gosh. I gotta save that last 30 seconds. And record it for later. 
The clout! The clout! The clout! Oh, I got so much. 